All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson 19. And in this lesson, we're gonna be modeling and using language to talk about one more, one less, 10 more, 10 less, and 100 more, 100 less. And the idea for this lesson is that we're gonna be using those place value disks so that we do something more than just have our students like memorize numbers and, and, and have it not really be meaningful. So we're gonna start with the physical representation, move to some sort of semi-pictorial, kind of semi-concrete, uh, um, yeah, it's pictorial representation, and ultimately our students are gonna, gonna internalize this and just do it from an abstract point of view. So we're gonna begin with a place value chart. And uh, teachers, I always, as a coach, I'm always encouraging teachers, even though Eureka Math doesn't explicitly ask us to label, I, I model it. I call these the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. And of course, that is a little bit redundant, hundreds, a little bit redundant when we are using place value disks, because then you would have a hundred in the hundreds column, and that is a little bit redundant, And but that's okay, because really the point is playing that long game of having our students repeatedly see this over and over and over, and they begin to recognize and remember that this is the ones column, the tens column, and the hundreds column. All right. So then the idea would be, let's model a number, and oh, I'll just start here, and remember, I am going to be modeling everything in that 10 frame format here. I'm not going to just allow my numbers to get all clumpy like that. I want them to be modeling in that 10 frame format. And we could say, well, what number is this? Well, this is 120. Three. We have 100, two tens, three ones, so 123. And if we said, well, if we add 10 more, just bring in a 10 right here. Now how much do we have? Oh, we have 133. So you can write a sentence stem. Let's see, 10 more than blank is blank. And so now what you can do is you can have your students just, you could just play the game and say, we've got this. So how much is that? That's 123. How much is this? 133. So 10 more than, and then have your students chorally, you know, in a choral fashion answer, 10 more than 123 is 133, all right? We're gonna play that game. You can play it for as long as you want. And then you can move to one more. One more than blank is blank. So now you've got your number, and let's say we're gonna use this. This is a fine starting point. This is 123, and then you bring over a one. Now we have 120. Four. So one more, so one more than 123 is 124. And you could play that game with a variety of different numbers, and ultimately you're going to finish it off with 100 more than blank is blank, and you could play that game. Eventually, students are going to start seeing just plain old numbers, 347. And then you can start asking the question, well, 10 more than 347. And what we want is we want students to be thinking about this over here. In fact, if you wanted to, you could even model it and say, okay, well, let's model that number. So 300, so there's 300, and then 40, and let's do 347. So there's five, six, seven. There's 347. Now just lay it out there. So now the students can see 347. And let's say, well, let's fill these in. So... You could say 10 more than 347. So what we want is students to imagine taking a 10, putting it where it goes, and then saying, oh, 
that's 10 more than 347 is 357. So really what we want them to see is this first number stays the same, this number stays the same, and only the tens place changes. And we can play the same game with one more, one more than 347. So we, see, we still have 347. We want students to imagine bringing over a one. And then what would that be? Well, that would be 358. And then lastly, 100 more than 347 would become 300, oops, let me back that up. That would be 457. And so what we want is we want to have students start to recognize the place being identified, and that is the number that gets changed. Uh, the 4 becomes a 5, the 7 becomes an 8, the 3 becomes a 4, based on what place value we're talking about here. And that's the abstract. So that's the goal. We're going to start with the actual place value disks. We might use just pictures of place value disks. But eventually, we want students to get to this abstract number sense technique. So... That's That previous slide is really the main point of this video. This part is just for parents and teachers to say, well, how are we going to fill this in? If you want, your students can use that place value chart, ones, tens, and hundreds. You can have them draw the values down here rather than actual using uh, place value disks. Or if your student needs to, let them continue using the place value disks. And uh, so this might still be used as a little bit of a training wheels or a helper, scaffold. But then you can just start filling it in. A hundred more than 146 is 246. A hundred more than 357 is 457. Well, let's take a look at Oh, 10 less. So 10 less. And that's something I didn't really talk about in the previous slide, but it's the same idea. If you have 146 and you take away 10, that would be 136, and this would be 347, etc. And here we get even more abstract and we're not doing so much simple repetition. Now we're mixing up the problems. We're mixing up what they're adding or subtracting. We're mixing up the numbers. So it, it gets a little bit more tricky, right? And that's a, just the next level of complexity. So oh, 1 more than 103 is 104. Ooh, I love question D. Question D, blank more than 123 is 223 and so we want students to recognize that oh that's a hundred more and then lastly these really tricky ones way down here oh let's do I a hundred less than something is 818 and if we wanted to we could be modeling all this we could use our place value disks and model it ones tens and hundreds um, if you wanted to uh, but we do want students to be thinking about this from an abstract numbers point of view and and just kind of filling it in eventually they can of course imagine this stuff in their head and that's really good too so a hundred less than 918 is 818 and that wraps up second grade module 3 lesson 19 where the students are modeling to talk about one more, one less, 10 more, 10 less, and 100 more, and 100 less.